It's wine, and you like wine. But how do you taste wine like a pro and get more out of each sip? It's not hard. Pros use the same four steps each time they taste. The four steps are see, sniff, sip, summarize. See, sniff, sip, summarize. Before starting, you'll need a glass with about two ounces of red wine, a white napkin or piece of paper, and your tasting apparatus. Pick up the glass by the stem. This way, you won't warm the wine or leave fingerprints on the bowl. Look at the wine against a white background. Is the wine purple or ruby colored? This indicates that it's fairly young. If the rim is orange, it's probably an older wine. Before sniffing, you need to swirl. Swirling speeds up the evaporation of alcohol. The alcohol then transports aromas from the liquid into the air where you can smell them. You can swirl while resting your glass on a table. It's like swirling with training wheels. Then put your nose inside the rim and take a few sharp sniffs. Red wines are made from red grapes, and the aromas are often reminiscent of red or purple fruits, such as strawberry, cherry, and plum. Are you picking up some vanilla, toast, or wood? This means that the wine was probably aged in oak barrels. Take a small sip of wine and swish it around your mouth so it reaches all your taste buds. See, you already look like a pro. You'll probably feel the wine's body first. Is it full-bodied or light? In other words, does the wine feel more like thick, heavy cream or skim milk? Next, pay attention to the flavors. Are you sensing red or purple fruits? Now you can swallow. Check out how your mouth is feeling. Did the wine seem silky smooth? Or have harsh tannins left your mouth feeling rough and dried out? Then comes the finish. The longer the delicious flavors last, the better the wine. Consider the wine's quality. Were the flavors pleasant? Was the wine silky and not too rough? Was the finish short or long? Finally, consider your taste preference. Would you like some more, or would you rather move on to a different wine? To taste wine like a pro and get more out of each glass, remember to see, sniff, sip, and summarize. To become proficient, you need to practice. It's best to taste a couple of wines side by side so you can compare them. Ask your retailer to recommend a Pinot Noir and a Cabernet Sauvignon that will provide a distinct contrast. Cheers! Happy tasting! Get a free tasting chart by clicking the link below or by going to the resources section at winespectatorschool.com.